Hi, I'm Mike. And did you know that the fastest North American land mammal lives right here in my backyard? It's true. And today we take a look at a species that outpopulates people here in the state of Wyoming. It has many names, including Antalocapra americana, but we just call them pronghorn antelope on our Wyoming life. <laughs> Welcome to the heart of the American West, where a unique and remarkable species roams the vast landscapes, the pronghorn antelope. Today, we're gonna to take a look at this distinctive species native to North America. And we're gonna talk about their physical characteristics, ecology and behavior, diet, evolutionary history, and of course, how they affect the ranch itself and their place on it. I'm gonna introduce you to a group of antelope hunters and give you a way to join them as they hunt on the ranch. And we're gonna talk about the conservation efforts and how we're working to make sure that these animals continue to roam the plains for years to come. There are a group of antelope back there, kinda of hard to see, but let's get started. This is the North American pronghorn antelope, often referred to as pronghorn antelope or just antelope, speed goats, or even at times prairie carp, stink goats, and even swamp donkeys. The Native Americans had many names for them. The Cree called them small caribou. The Sioux name was small deer, and even early settlers didn't know what to make of these strange animals, usually just calling it some kind of goat. Pronghorn antelope aren't just another animal on the prairie, they are a testament to the wild spirits of North America. These animals are renowned for their incredible speed, unique evolutionary history, and adaptation to the challenging landscapes of the North American West. Pronghorn possess a, a set of physical characteristics that make, th make them instantly recognizable. Standing about three to four feet tall at the shoulder and weighing between 90 to 130 pounds, these creatures have a lean and graceful appearance. Their distinctive feature is a pair of pronged, curved horns on their foreheads. Unlike true antlers, pronghorns are, well, pronghorn horns are composed of a bony core and a sheath made of keratin, the same material that makes up hair, hooves, and claws. These horns continue to, go, to grow throughout the pronghorn's life with a characteristic upward curve that sets them apart from other hoofed animals. But it's not just their horns that make pronghorn unique. They are the fastest land animals in North America, capable of reaching speeds up to 55 miles per hour. Pronghorns inhabit a variety of ecosystems across North America as well, from grasslands to shrublands, to deserts, and of course, sagebrush-filled prairie. Most often, they are found in areas with wide open spaces, which align with their keen eyesight, allowing them to spot predators from a distance. In fact, a pronghorn has the largest eye versus body weight of any mammal. Their vision is about the same as a human looking through an eight power set of binoculars. Trust me, they see you long before you see them. Their exceptional vision is crucial for detecting threats. As pronghorn are known for their incredible speed, their speed has also evolved as a defense mechanism to evade their predators, including coyotes and bobcats and hunters. Pronghorn hunting season takes place every year in Wyoming in the month of October. We average a harvest of about 40 animals from our land during that time, and this week we were visited by a group from North Carolina. These guys have their own YouTube channel, Goat Busters Outdoors, on which they have begun posting videos from their hunts right here on the ranch. They invite us to go along with them as they hunt, and you can check them out on YouTube. I'll put a link down in the description or just search Goat Busters Outdoors.
pronghorn antelope hunting in Wyoming is deeply ingrained in the state's culture and history. For generations, hunting has been a means of sustenance and recreational pastime, binding families and communities together. It provides an opportunity for hunters to connect with nature, challenge their skills, and embrace the spirit of the Wild West. A little bit later, we're going to talk about how hunting actually helps preserve and manage pronghorn populations. Pronghorn are herbivores, and their diet mainly consists of a variety of plants. They feed on grasses, forbs, and shrubs, often moving between different foraging areas in search of the most nutritious and available vegetation. Their selective feeding habits have evolved to enable them to efficiently extract nutrients from a range of plant species, contributing to their adaptability in diverse environments. The odd, one of the odd things about pronghorn antelope is their diversion to jumping fences. In fact, pronghorn are highly adapted to open landscapes. For eons, they've never had to jump over anything higher than a sagebrush. A few have learned how to jump fences, but a vast majority of them are reluctant, preferring to slip underneath them, often damaging fences while doing so. The pronghorn's evolutionary history is quite intriguing as well. They belong to a family called Antelocopra. It's a group that actually includes no other living species. The closest living relatives of pronghorn, known as the American cheetahs, became extinct about 10,000 years ago, leaving pronghorn as the sole surviving members of their family. Their extraordinary speed and unique anatomical features, like the pronghorns, are a relic of a distant evolutionary past, which can date back to 2.5 million years ago. Pronghorn have faced numerous challenges in recent centuries due to habitat losses, overhunting, and the encroachment of human activities. However, significant conservation efforts have been made to protect these iconic creatures. Conservation programs and initiatives have focused on preserving their habitats, maintaining populations, and reducing the impact of highways and other human infrastructure on their migration routes. The Pronghorn Working Group, a collaborative effort among wildlife agencies, scientists, and conservationists, plays a pivotal role in safeguarding this species. On the ranch, we do our part. Pronghorn hunting in Wyoming is carefully regulated by Wyoming Game and Fish. Strict quotas, season links, and other regulations are also in place to maintain a uh, sustainable population. Biologists continue to monitor pronghorn numbers and adapt hunting regulations accordingly. In fact, they actually fly over the ranch often to count numbers of animals throughout the year. Hunters are required to obtain permits through a lottery system, and only a limited number of tags are issued each year. This ensures that hunting remains a sustainable activity and reduces the impact on the pronghorn's population. Pronghorn antelope hunting in Wyoming is a multifaceted pursuit. It serves as a bridge to the state's rich history, as an economic driver for rural communities, and a conservation success story. By maintaining pronghorn populations carefully and supporting conservation efforts, Wyoming has struck a delicate balance between preserving its natural heritage and allowing hunters to partake in a time-honored tradition. This harmonious approach showcases how responsible hunting can coexist with wildlife conservation and contribute to the state's cultural and economic vitality. I guess in closing, the pronghorn antelope is a testament to the unique evolutionary history and, well, the adaptability of North American wildlife. With their extraordinary speed, distinctive horns, and the ability to thrive in diverse environments, pronghorn remain an iconic symbol of the American West. Through conservation efforts and increased awareness, we can ensure the continued existence of this remarkable species, safeguarding their place in the natural heritage of North America for generations to come. For me, they're still back there. You can't see them. They're a symbol of the West, and since they outnumber us, we better treat them right. Thanks for coming along today. And if you ever head west, keep an eye out for these majestic creatures. Because if you see them, they're not going to be there long.
take a second, subscribe, and follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary right here on our Wyoming Life.